Hello, this is Victor at RestoreYourMercedes.com. Uh, this video is for Mike in California. Okay, Mike, so here is your unit. Um, I replaced the potentiometer and I just cleaned it as you can see. It's nice and shiny now. So it's pretty good. And um, I don't know what happened with it. It's just uh, this is the pieces. It's just very, very weird. It's very brittle, of course, but I've never seen them break like that. Oh, it's just just super super weird uh, the whole sh the whole assembly would not really track right so therefore you would have a problem with the ASR there is no damage on the surface so surface is okay although there's a little bit of a scratch here that I haven't seen or maybe from from tossing it around here therefore there's a little scratch well, anyway, I mean, this thing is not really great anymore. There's also some sort of a bent over here. As you can see, there's like an indentation there. It looks like a crack, microscopic crack. It should not be there. It should have not been there. You see how it's just... You can see it right here. See this line? That could have been a problem, actually, for the most part. It was definitely dropped or something. I mean, I, I cannot have any other explanations of why it would happen like such. Um, yeah, you actually do see there is a it is a crack. It's a micro crack. See it right here. So yeah, this is definitely damaged. Probably dropped. This is like right right over there. This crack is. So I don't know what happened. Probably because of that, the rest of the assembly shattered. Because you cannot really break this that easily. Because you see where it sits. This piece sits all the way underneath the assembly. So the only way to break it is to actually force the rod down over so it actually touches the plate and cracks the plate. There's supposed to be lots of force involved in this. Well, it is what it is, because if you look at the plate, I mean, there is there is space there. I mean, I, I don't understand why, how can it can even touch? Because you see this 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 space inside, a little bit, but there is some. See, when I'm closing it down, it's still above. So I don't know. I don't see any kind of. Well, maybe here a little bit, but that's probably no. I don't know. Well, whatever. I just want to show you this thing works. Okay, so this unit is connected to uh, to the EGAS module, the 12 cylinder one, and this is the primary throttle I'm using, throttle body from a 93, just to get slave one energized. So I'm gonna put power on. There, that's the twitching. And um, you can hear it, you can see it. See, it opens, closes. Looks fine. I'll just put this one next to the, to the... Now this is a 93 E-Gas module, so throttles don't open all the way when the car isn't running. So therefore the opening is limited. But um, at least you can see one unit controls another. Okay, so it's a nice potentiometer, it's a really nice one because there is not even a single crack on it. If you look at it, the case is just flawless. This is a keeper. You see there's nothing, not even a single crack on, on the surrounding case. So this is a good one, it should last. Alright, so this is basically what I wanted to show. 
I can just activate deactivate them again and get the powers on the other side. So, power off, power on, off, power on. Now this one jumps open for a second, that's normal. That's how they are when they energize. Um, driver side, driver side closes a little bit, passenger side opens a little bit. That's when they activate. It's just that's okay. That's how they, that's how they work. But other than that, I see no problems with it anymore. Okay, well, I'll probably plug it into the car real quick, show you how it works on the car. So uh, and start the car even, so you can see that there is no ASR light or anything like that, and um, should be good to go. Alright, well this was Victor at HistoryMercedes.com, thank you for watching.